Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber Akar and I'm a certified animal trainer and in today's video I'm going to be showing you three simple tasks that you can teach your service dog to help you cope with anxiety. Now there's two things I want to remind you of before we start this video. The first thing is going to be that if you would like to learn more about service dogs or see a day in the life of my service dog, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notifications button so you don't miss a video. The second thing I want to remind you of is teaching your dog these skills does not make your dog a service dog. If you would like to learn more about what makes your dog a service dog, be sure to hit that notifications button for an upcoming video. Okay everyone, so this is my service dog, Oak and the few tasks I'm going to show you have several different purposes. Now, if you have problems with crowds, with standing in line, or you just like to have more space from people, this is going to be an ideal task for you to teach your dog. We're going to use a method that's called luring. So I'll be showing Oakley the treat and getting him in position. Now the thing about luring is it's very important to fade out the treat. So we'll be fading that into a hand signal. You can call these cues whatever you would like, whatever you're comfortable with. You get to decide what to call them for your dog. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first position I'm going to get him in is going to be behind me, Oakley. I'll show him the treat and bring him behind me. Yes, as soon as he's in the position I'm looking for, I'm going to go ahead and mark and reward that position. Now I'll go ahead and bring him out. Okay, good job. So let's bring him behind me, yes. Now I would ideally like him to be in a standing position. So the longer he holds that standing position, the more treats he's going to get. And if he happens to put his butt down, I'll go ahead and reset and try again. Very good. Okay, good. So as he starts catching on, I'm just going to point behind me. Yes, good job and have the treat ready for him on the other side. Good, okay. Very good. Go behind. Yes, good job. So this is the position I'm looking for. What you might notice is I'm actually practicing with a wall behind me. This is actually helping him get into the right position so that he's against, he's between me and the wall and holding that position right there. We wanna make sure we practice this without a wall behind us and potentially with a person as well. So if you have someone in your family, you can have them help you out by standing behind you. Good job, Oakley, okay. Now this is especially useful if you don't like having people behind you and would like your dog to just help you get more space. It's also going to help people not approach you from behind because there's a dog behind you. So this is a great skill for dogs that are learning to mitigate different anxiety related disabilities. So I hope that you guys enjoyed kind of that live demo of what going behind would look like. My husband volunteered to be somebody just walking up behind me in line. And that can be something that's really scary and overwhelming and anxiety inducing for some people. And so I hope you guys got to see how this could actually apply to you and your dog when waiting in lines or going out in public places. So this is a great task to teach your service dog, especially if you have trouble with people coming up behind you. Now I'm going to show you a few other positions that you can teach your service dog to get into on cue and these have all been really useful for me out in public places so I hope that you find them useful as well. The next one is going to be very similar. We're just going to use the treat lure and bring him right in front of us. Now this is very similar to going behind except our dog is going to be holding that position in front of us and this is ideal if someone's in front of you and you just like that extra space between you and the person in front of you. Oakley come on. All right, so as you can see, without a wall in front of me, my dog is having a hard time. So I'm going to actually place him against the wall this time. So we're going to bring him here. Yes, good job. And using a wall is going to help your dog get into the right position rather than them turning around and getting in the wrong place. So if you find that your dog is swiveling and not facing the right way, just scooch a little bit closer to the wall. All right, let's try it again. Here, sit. Good. I like to start my dog in his healing position and the reason why is because this is a position he's usually in when we're out working. So I'm going to use him in the healing position, bring him in the front. Yes, good job, excellent job. Great. The longer your dog holds that stand stay position, the more rewards they should get. And then you can bring them back to heal position. Okay, go around. Good boy and sit. Yes. 
Yes, good job. Very good, good. Now that it's starting to catch on, okay, we're going to try practicing it without the wall. And if you're finding your dog is having a hard time, you can place something like a chair or, you know, <laughs> I've got a climb pedestal here, and we're gonna practice that as well. Good job. Very good. Good boy. Yes. Good job. Good job. Okay, go around. Very good. Yes. Good job. Very good. Okay, go around. Awesome. So that's what we call go in front, and I like to use that when waiting in line or having a bunch of people in front of me, and I just need that little bit of extra space. Having your service dog go in front of you or behind you is a great way to kind of get that little extra space from people. Now, the only thing you want to make sure of is that your dog is solid at not going up to and getting distracted by the person. So make sure you practice with friends, with your significant other, so that you're able to practice having them get into position and kind of make some space for you between you and that other person. Now the last position we're going to work on is I'm going to work on having my dog face behind me. Now this is especially useful if I'm doing something and I'm not paying attention. I can one, have my dog do the go behind behavior, but I can also have him face that way so that people are less likely to want to approach me because my dog is looking straight at them. Now it's really important that your dog is solid at not getting distracted or leaving your side when teaching your dog to face away from you. So be sure to practice all of your other public access skills as well. So I'm going to reward him very heavily for facing the other direction. So I'm going to have him in his regular working position, I'm going to bring him to the other side and reward him for standing at my side. Very good. So since I always work him on my left facing forward, I'm going to teach him this position by get, having him get on my other side, which is my right side, and facing away from me. And you might notice he wants to back up and face me, so I'm going to reward him in position as best as I can. So I'm going to reward him every time he's facing in the right direction so that he learns facing the opposite direction as me is what I'm looking for. Okay, very good. So make sure you practice these behaviors over and over again so your, your dog fully understands the different positions. You might not need to use all three of these positions, but I find these positions very helpful for when we're going to places such as the grocery store where I might have a line behind me. You want to make sure to Practice this in new locations with your service dog and practice with volunteers or people that you know so your dog is used to positioning themselves in between you and another person. I hope that you guys found this video helpful and be sure to subscribe to my channel to get more service dog tutorials just like this one or to see a day in the life with me and my service dog. If you guys have any questions on this video, be sure to comment down below and I will answer as many questions as I can. See you guys next time. Oh, please say bye. Oh. Oh, thank you.